warm welcome to round three of the NGK F1 Powerboat Championship, which this weekend comes from Bay City, Michigan, for the Real Flavors Rocking the River event on the Saginaw River. Now, last time out, just two weeks ago, we were in Toledo, Ohio, where Ashton Rinker's reign continued with yet another win. Let's look back now at the highlights. have separated. Oh boy, a big incident. Ashton Rinker has led every lap. Now, one driver hoping to try to knock the number 20 off his pedestal is his teammate and cousin, Chris Rinker. I definitely say that there is an opportunity to get up on the podium, but uh, Ashton's at a whole nother level. That number 20 boat is just absolutely untouchable right now. Definitely need to learn to read the water. I mean, that's the big thing here that gets really rough. There's a couple spots out there on the track, on the, on the water that's uh, eating some boats up. So I gotta be careful about that. Just drive safe. Uh, I gotta continue to learn. I'm pretty new at Formula One, obviously being a rookie, but uh, I'm running a really fast boat. I've got a great team behind me. I've got guys on my radio that know the ins and outs of the race. I'm kind of growing into it, so we'll see how it comes up. I'd like to get on that podium if possible. Another man ready to go racing after a break is Travis Yates. Well, I was ready to jump back in as quick as possible. If, if my wife would have allowed it, I probably would have been boat in Toledo. But uh, <laughs> she wanted me to take the year off. We, we settled on one race. It's right at two months. Um, luckily, everything that I broke in the accident, it all healed on its own, didn't require any surgery. So it kind of allowed me to get back in a little sooner than I thought it was going to. We're taking it easy. Is that, I can't say I'm not timid when I'm coming into the turns. I'm, I'm a, little more, uh, a little more aware of everyone who's around me and what they're doing. So this, this weekend is just to get back to that comfort level that I was at before the crash. And it's understandable. Pulling up to 7G at over 100 miles an hour in some of the turns. This is serious stuff. We'll take a short break and we'll be back from Bay City after this. NGKF1 Powerboat Championship on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by TireRack.com, revolutionizing tire buying since 1979. By Motor Trend On Demand. Visit MotorTrendOnDemand.com. Start your free trial today. And by NGK Spark Plugs, the ignition specialists. Welcome back, as we're about to join Tim Seabold and Ralph Shaheen for the Heat 3 Roundup. But first of all, let's take a look at the course with Ralph. All right, Johnny, thank you very much. And let's take a look at the layout for the Real Flavors Rock in the River course here. It's technically a short course, Tim, but boy, there's some tricky parts to it. You know what? It's very narrow. There's seawalls on both sides, so it gets extremely rough. You got wind coming through the buildings, and you always have that hole at the ramp. We begin our race coverage with the NGK F1 Powerboat Championship, Heat 3, Group A, and off goes Jude Gaspar to the number 70 with a real good start in the pack chasing him. Jeremiah Mayo in the number 8, and Spencer Love in the number 24 getting a great jump on the field. It is not going to take long before this water gets all churned up. You know, running in Bay City on the Saginaw River is like running in a bathtub. The waves just keep coming right back onto the course, making it rougher and rougher. You can see one of the two bridges, a bridge at each end as we have this battle for first. Rinker and Love, that's Rinker in yellow. Rinker trying to use his speed on the outside, but he's got to watch it through this corner on the first lap. Well, you can see how quick those boats pivot. Back to the other end and another run down these very long straightaways. And that's where Rinker's boat is really shining today. He really is. He carries a lot of corner speed, which allows him to run a bigger pitch propeller, which gives him the extra top end speed here. How will that hinder him, though, with that propeller in the corners? Well, I'll tell you when it's going to hurt him is when we get all 22 boats on the field and it gets rough. He's going to have to watch it. 
example, you can see these boats, even on this short course with these long straightaways, really reaching terminal velocity at the end before they turn it around and head back the other way. The water seems realistically calm for here on the Saginaw River. It will. It takes about 10 laps before this place really starts roughening up, and you're going to see it once we make it into the finals. White flag is out, just one more to go, and Rinker having a really solid run here in Heat 3, Group A. He's really looking good. These guys are dialed in, not only for this weekend, but for the past two races, which he's won, and it's showing right now. Checkered flag, Ashton Rinker picks up another victory. He is really on a roll here in 2019. Here's a look at the results. Love, Hawkins, and Mayo, and Clipatlo all follow him across the line in the top five. Here's group 3B, that's Jake Alkema in the 191, the red and black boat, closest to us. He was a little slow out of the gate. He sure was, and you look at the uh, far end of the starting order, Chris Rinker in the yellow boat, number 52, gets a great jump with Mike Quindazzi right on his hip. One of those yellow Rinker boats here this afternoon looking strong in Michigan. You look at number 62, the lottery boat coming up on the outside of Chris Fairchild, and he's challenging for the win. Fairchild in that silver boat, dancing across the tops of the waves, and he's showing some top-end speed today. You know, him and Ashton are really, see, wow. the first corner, you gotta yeah. watch it as you start, because you get all the boats going across there, and when you come back down for it, it throws you for a loop. Just about the time he was lifting off the throttle is when that thing started to get loose on him. Sure does, and you can see it picks the back end up, kind of dives the front, and that's not what you want. So Fairchild in the lead, Rinker right behind him. And then RJ West trying to come up into third place and challenge for second. West in that black and red 93, it looked like he got pitched out of the lane. He was hoping to stay in as he rounded that buoy. See what he does at the other end here. He sure is, you know, he got on that hard white water that's right behind the boats and that makes the boat skip out and you can't hold your lane, lose time. Quick race again in these heat races, a white flag is out and Fairchild trying to spoil the Rinker sweep. He's gonna be neck and neck for Ashton Rinker on pole today for the final. A Little bit of traffic in front of him as he picks his way through the water. Coming up on Johnny Fleming right before the finish. Checkered flag will wave for him. There it is, Fairchild taking the victory. So win in heat 3B. In his earlier heat races, Fairchild with a pair of second place finishes. That'll set him up nicely for the main event. He'll pop the hatch, wave to the crowd, and here's a look at the results. Brinker, Quindazzi, Fleming, and West in the top five here in heat three, group B. Great racing, a great crowd, and perfect weather. We'll take a short break and more action from the Rocking the River in Bay City, Michigan, after this. Bay City, Michigan for the NGK F1 Powerboat Championship. Plenty of action, and it's not just the F1 boats in action. There's tri-hulls, J-Hydros, and Formula Lights. Let's take a look. Mark Schmierbach taking the Formula Lights win. Our class is decorated champion. Trials. I love these guys, and this was a rough course for them. This was brutal on them, and they were hitting huge waves and each other all the way around. Wild ride, and Corey Walker survives to get to the top step of the podium. Tough for the youngsters as well, and Jay Hydro. That rough water of the Saginaw really plays havoc on the J-Hydros. Oh, problem here. Alden goes over. 
Unfortunately, he's okay. And at the end, Jack Schubert with another win. Now, the youngsters of the J Hydros are certainly the future of the sport, and one day they hope to be on the start line of the F1 race right here, I'm sure, at Bay City. So let's again join Tim and Ralph for the start list and the final. Here's a look at the starting lineup and the man that has won the first two races of the year, Ashton Rinker, keeps the momentum going, Tim, he's on pole. He sure is, and you got some other guys nipping at his heels. Rusty Wyatt, though, way back down in seventh place, followed by Johnny Fleming. See Jeremiah Mayo, Jim Robb in the 47, and Jude Gaspard back in 18th. It's a field of 20 boats with Dustin Terry, normally a strong contender in 20th. Well, the hurricane kept him from getting up here. Been a tough week as we get set to go. Ralph Shaheen and Tim Siebold with you. The NGK F1 Powerboat Championship ready for round three here on the Saginaw River in Bay City, Michigan. Man, what a beautiful sight. All those boats lined up. Le Mans start on the Saginaw River. It's going to be good. Crowd along the shore. Remember, we got seawall on both sides. Should get really rough. Off we go. Rinker boat stealing away from the rest of the pack. We're on board with RJ West, but RJ's got the the Optimax on there so it doesn't quite come off the beach as good. And Chris Fairchild, his motor didn't start. Watching from Spencer Love's boat as he chases Rinker down towards the bridge. Spencer with a great start, a little bit outside, but he's gonna try and run down Ashton Rinker to keep him honest this week. Rinker is gonna do everything he can to take advantage of this calm water now and try to gap the field. He will, and here's Chris Rinker coming up, but you gotta watch his second corner on the start. You right see Ashton yes. Rinker, yeah, he's a little bit outside. But Rinker's boat smooth for now with that water. As you said earlier, about 10 laps in, really gonna get choppy. Man, you can see what an advantage it is as he just pulls away in the smoother water up front, picking his own lines while in second place. Oh, red flag, red flag. The boats will come to an immediate stop. And let's take a look at why. Problem on the course. That second corner on the start gets extremely rough and it got Jeremiah Mayo. And it looks like Rusty Wyatt's cowling is floating in the water too. That means we'll have the restart boats lined up on the dock again. Green is out and Rinker's gone once again. Gives Fairchild a second chance. Same thing happened, his motor didn't start. That is just shocking. Fairchild, we saw him win his heat, heat three earlier today and struggling here in the main event. You can see how it funnels down going to the first turn at Bay City. Rusty got a great start from seventh position that time and he's all the way up to third place. Here they all come by in a huge pack. And this Bay City course, because it's so difficult to navigate, look at Rinker bouncing through there. This is one of those events all of these drivers really want to say they won here. They really do because you got to respect the Saginaw River and you got to make it to the end of the race. It's claimed a lot of carnage over the years. Including you. Including me. Ripped the boat in half right down here by the ramp. But here we go. We got a battle for third place right now between RJ West and Rusty Wyatt. That's Wyatt on the inside of the red boat. There he is just to the left as we watch him the onboard with Rusty Wyatt. RJ West staying on the inside, trying to push Wyatt out a little bit so he can get the drive off the corner and use the top speed. And Rinker still with a good second plus lead over Love and West coming in. We'll be right back for more from the Saginaw River after this. NGK F1 Powerboat Championship on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by TireRack.com, revolutionizing tire buying since 1979. By Motor Trend On Demand. Visit MotorTrendOnDemand.com. Start your free trial today. 
and by NGK Spark Plugs, the ignition specialists. Welcome back to Bay City, Michigan. Here on the Saginaw River, round three is underway. Good battles all over the race course with everybody chasing Ashton Rinker. They sure are. We got guys moving up from the back. Chris Fairchild didn't get his motor started. He's worked his way all the way back up to about seventh place right now. And uh, we still got some more time for him to try and move up. A heat race winner earlier today, but every, oh, red flag is coming out as we just switched to our leader, Rinker in the 20 boat. Oh, it's Dustin Terry in the white boat with major problems. Sure is, Dustin blew over going up the backside and he's all right. He is excited that he's all right, but uh, you know, he's had a rough week and he didn't make all the heat races and we're glad to see the McCullough driver in good spirits. So now getting ready for the restart, field forming back up. And this will be a pace boat restart now. They'll follow the watercraft. Ashton Rinker will set the pace, keep them in line, and everybody's got to fall in behind them. But it happens awful quick, so they don't have much time. Here comes the pack. Spencer Love on the outside in position two, Rusty Wyatt behind him, and then Mike Makus in the number 85 boat. See the watercraft moving off to the right. Restart, we're green. And Rinker tries to get the jump. He gets a great jump, but Spencer's right there with him. Let's see what happens. Oh, and Spencer gets a little wide. A little bit wide. Ashton was right on the buoys and it pulls out about another five boat lengths. Boy, that made all the difference. I thought Spencer was gonna be right there. Oh, and another problem. Wide again, and Rusty Wyatt's gonna come by. Oh, Spencer's gonna be mad at himself over that one. Well, that cost him a spot. Now can Wyatt do anything about reeling in Rinker? And Rinker already two for two in the first two races of the year. But what Spencer Love and Rusty Wyatt need, they need this water to roughen up. And with that, we need laps. So the longer it goes, the better chance they have of pulling back up on Ashton. Problem is the clock ticking down. That's right, they're running out of time. They gotta make something happen now. You can see how calm, considering what this place can look like, the Saginaw River looks like right now. It sure is, and you and you notice coming up the front side, oh. Tracy Hawkins. Tracy Hawkins having a problem on the back straightaway. Well, he has had a rough year, a big crash at the last race in Toledo, and now motor problems here in Michigan. Tuttle Enterprise boat, he's just sitting back there. He's got real flavors for the weekend, but he's out of the event. Here comes Chris Fairchild making a move on Mike Makus. This will be for fifth position. Makus in that darker colored boat. Number 85. Fairchild hugging the buoys. You know, Fairchild's a seasoned veteran. He knows this rough water. He knows this course well. Oh, and we know he's got a fast boat as he shows right there. Going up the backside, it smooths out a little bit uh, towards the end of the straightaway there, and he can use his top end speed. White flag is out. Just one more to go for Ashton Rinker. Ashton Rinker has got everybody behind him. White flag, all he's got to do is be smooth and make it through one more turn. And a prestigious victory here on the Saginaw River awaits as he pirouettes around the buoys and heads back to the checkered flag. Rusty pulled up on him, but it's a case of too little too late. He did, making a run, but running out of time. Ashton Rinker wins his third in a row the 2019 season. Checkered flag for Rinker, and he'll take a big win here in Bay City, Michigan. And he'll celebrate this one after a dominating win. So confirmation of the result, Ashton Rinker with 150 points, Rusty Wyatt second, Spencer Love in third, Chris Rinker in fourth, Chris Fairchild fifth. I was loving it, and then we had that restart. It's laid down a little bit. I just got in rhythm, and then it got smooth, and had to readjust, and I didn't readjust fast enough, and made a couple mistakes, and Rusty did a heck of a job, and got by me and you know I can't hats off to him but he did a good job driving and didn't make mistakes so 
very rough year this weekend. So, you know what, just to get up here again after the, uh, all, the, all the technical difficulties we had, just to get a second place is huge. I'm tired of looking at the back of that number 20. We're going after him next weekend. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, Rinker's Boat World with Clank Trailers uh, putting us up to the front. Uh, James Chambers and Jamie Sullivan and Frank Forrest, solid all week. I mean, the guys are the best in the business. So then, a look at the weekend's points. 300 for Ashton Rinker as he moves forward again. Rusty Wyatt, Spencer Love in third with 258. Chris Fairchild fourth and Chris Rinker in fifth place. And that means overall Ashton Rinker increases his lead now to 885 points. Fairchild and Wyatt are still in the hunt and the top 10 are all over 500 points now in the chase against Ashton Rinker. Fantastic weekend then. And as the boys celebrate, we leave Bay City after another superb weekend of racing. We'll be back next time to do it all again. Shaheen, Tim Seabold, and our entire crew. I'm Jonathan Green. This has been a production of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. <laughs>